Woo! She's toasty. Big orange taxi cab. Just went directly over it. And how come we couldn't get a shot like that last time? Holy <laughs> shit! Holy <laughs> shit! The chain's ripped off the bag. Oh my god, it's so cool. The VW is so well put together, it's practically airtight. <laughs> Look at that thing, man. It's old. Copy that. Boom! Dang! That thing's, that thing's cool, man. Hey! hey! What's going on, guys? Thanks for watching Wrecked and Recovery. We've really appreciated all your support over the past year, or over a year, I guess. It's, it's, we're, yeah, we're coming up on a year, and uh, it's been, a, it's been a huge success. Over 20 cars. Over 20 cars. We haven't failed yet, so we're doing good. We've had a lot of fun, difficult, learning experiences but we haven't failed yet and we wanted to go over some of the, the our favorite the top the craziest recoveries i guess top five yeah we've had we've had boring cars and we've had cars that ripped in half yep. taxi cabs yeah vw's yep. we've had all kinds of cool cars and uh yeah definitely definitely have some cool ones we can show them. Yeah. so let's just jump right into it show you guys our top five craziest recoveries this year and we're here yeah. It only took like six hours. It's a way better day than it was last time though. So like, this actually feels like it could be a fun day. It is warm. The water looks still perfect conditions. I'm if, excited, man. If it was just a little clear, but it's not, it's not zero viz. I, so. I think it's a, a It's about foot. the same as it was last time. Yeah. So I think it'll be all right. So we already know that there's a car out here. Adam has already dove it and confirmed what it is. So now all we got to do is dive it again, get this thing hooked up so we can start pulling it out. This thing should be like right there. Uh, I don't, mm, yeah. I mean, it's not too far. There's a car. Man, we're not over it. Can you leave it? It's so far from the boat ramp, man. How many feet is it? It's 20 feet. Really? Yeah, you really? see it right there. We went right really? over it. There's the car. It's pretty cool. I know. So, as always, we have this big old magnet we use to hook on the vehicles and then put a buoy on it and we can just follow the line down when we dive. Makes it super easy to find the car. You are so smart. What is it like to have a brain the size of yours? It hurts. Let her rip. All right, we're on it. Man, that was quick. You're some kind of professional. Just got this car marked with a buoy. It is my turn to dive. So I'm gonna suit up, we're gonna get down there, see if we can get this thing rigged up to pull out of the water. Oh, I was wondering what sprayed the fire extinguisher. The fire extinguisher started going off. Oh no. It's empty now? Oh, oh no. Woo! Yeah, that's... It's old, dude. I mean, it's totally in service. It's good. Totally. The car's facing us pretty much like this. Okay? So right where the buoy is. This should be easy. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Neat. And so I think this driver's side is pretty unburied, but the dirt kind of comes up like here a little bit. Then it's kind of level with the top over here. Mm. And the back is kind of buried. So, you know, this side is going to be your, your key. I mean, we could hook it on one wheel and hope it breaks free. I just don't want to rip the axle off like the other one. It really depends. Wheels are steel, I guess. Flat, all that stuff. They're the old Plymouth wheels. I don't, I think they're... Oh, I had hubcaps on it. And yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right, we'll figure it out. Are you going to go down with the rope first, tie it on, and yeah, come back I up? I think we'll have enough length. Well, this will tell us it's a 100-foot rope. Yeah, I'm going to go down and hook this up. That way we have a guide rope. Yeah. And then I'll come back for the chains and everything. Because and... that rope's 100 feet. And our line's 100 feet, so if that rope reaches back, we know we have enough line to go straight to it. Okay. 
Oh, he's killed his bird. I mean, I had to dig up the one wheel. The other side is, it's like up to the window. Like there is no I digging. I didn't have great visibility and I, could, I don't know. I knew it was a little worse on that side. Yeah, it's definitely buried, but. This side is definitely better though. I mean, I dug up the one wheel. I think, I think I got down to some control arms where I could hook a J hook on it, but. Yeah. I'm gonna be surprised if this thing pops out of that mud. I mean, it is, like when I was digging, it was like clay. I'm like, oh man, dude, I don't know. Do you think but I mean, it's it? solid. Well, I was reaching way in there behind the wheel. Yeah. I was like, God, I kept feeling stuff. I'm like, this doesn't belong in here. And I started digging. I was like, it's foamy. And I finally pulled it out and it was round. And I was like, okay, let's concentrate. <laughs> and I looked down at it slowly. It was a Nerf soccer ball that was stuffed in the wheel well. In the wheel. And I'm like, why are you in here? So what do you think, J-hook? I guess just one J-hook and maybe see if we could, might pull it out of the mud. A wing and a prayer. But man, that car, it looks neat for as old as it is. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's what I was. I mean, it's definitely orange. It's got white pinstripe on it. Yeah. I see the, the, the front. I know exactly what kind of car this is. This is a big boat. It says Plymouth on the front. Yeah. It's a little ugly Plymouth, so it's like, yeah. I don't know, like a early 80s. That's a no... good first sign. No, it's stuck. <laughs> Just kind of want to see a big bubble shoot up. I think going slow is the key here, real slow. Slide, it keeps sliding. Well, it's not not really, but it's not moving either. I don't see a single bubble. I don't see any bubbles either. We might have to. Yeah, we might have to. Might have to. Might have to lift up. bag it. Give up. That's not in our vocabulary. We'll put every lift bag on the same before we give up. It's not moving. It's like, there's, it's not even, it's nothing. There's nothing happening. Plan B. There's a plan B? Start digging. <laughs> there she goes. Hey, it popped over. Oh no, we lost a, we lost a headlight. Dang. That is nuts. She's toasty. Big orange taxi cab. Tell me if you guys will never see in these. What happened? Making a weird noise. It's running out of oil, I think, that's why. I don't, know, I don't like it at all. Oh, dude, the back's falling apart. Oh no. Oh god, we're gonna lose the rear end? Is the whole rear end gonna fall off? It looks like it. <laughs> oh no. Holy smokes, dude. It might hold on. So we do try to clean up the oil when we can, with these oil pads. Sometimes it's gas, which doesn't collect on these. These are just for oil, but still. We do our best to clean up the environment, remove these cars and polluting the water more than they already have been. I mean, we're not gonna get it out, up much, too much farther. No, I'll probably have to drive forward. And just like, probably put the wrecker where the van is. And then it'll pull, it should pull it right up onto the concrete, you think? Or the, I mean, or the back end, it's kind of like that other car we pulled out and just fell apart. Well, this shit's falling apart. Did it look like it was all pulling apart or? Oh yeah, it's the, kind of wobbly. Like the frame and axle still Yeah, good? yeah. More times than not, these things will leak oil, gas, whatever else is on it. And while we can't do much about the gas, it does evaporate though. But what we do when we see an oil leak, we'll get our oil pads out. These oil pads are made to absorb oil not water not gas anything like petroleum based and they're really good too so we have ourselves a little oil leak going on 
and it pooled up right here. So like we've already sucked most of that oil up. So yeah. that's exactly why we do that. And we could always use more. Yeah. So by all means, if you guys are feeling like you want to give they're, us some, they're on our uh, wish list. Yeah, right? they're definitely on a wish list. And they come in packs like that. And yeah, they, they are, come in packs of 50. I mean, most of the time we'll burn through a whole pack if yeah. we need to. Yeah. But it helps, so it's worth it. Oh yeah. Pull the van where the let's pull the let's pull the record where the van is, and then we could pull this up on the boat ramp. Is it gonna stay right there if we let it down? We'll leave the line attached, just let it loose and pull up. What are you talking about? We'll leave the, the hook on it. Oh no. And just let it loose on the wrecker and drive up so it stays on. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. But look at this thing, man. This is so cool. The back is kind of falling apart and we do need to check inside because it looks like the windows are up. Yeah, windows are up, but we'll get the rest of the way out of the water and they'll pop a window, see if there's anything in there. Yeah. It's been out a long time, so. Anyone is in there, it's just gonna be bones. You can see right there, it says Plymouth. And it is orange. It doesn't look too orange right now because it's covered in mud. But uh, there's a CD on the front. It's like a bag here or something. I mean, it drugged through the dirt, so who knows what we picked up on the way. That is awesome. I wonder what the story was behind this. 24 hour airport service. I don't know, you made a wrong turn apparently. So what are we doing, you gonna bust a oh, window look out? look at Crawdad. You're just a little feller. Oh, she's really good. Ah! Eat him! Eat him! I freed him. I jumped like a woman. All right, you ready? Yeah. I'll do this one. Yeah. Built to laugh. I'm being a wussy about it. Holy smokes! Might be reinforced. Rock. <laughs> I mean, it is full of them. I don't see anything, but there's a lot of mud. Does the door work? I mean, there's no handle. Yeah, not surprised. <laughs> How far out was it? Maybe a hundred feet just downstream a little bit. Wasn't wasn't the worst. It was on its wheels and everything, so. A lot of things in that river. <laughs> There's another car way down there, but oh, really? I don't know if we can we might come back someday and float that one. How's it going? Yeah. Under the bridge. It's like three of them right there. It's a Plymouth! It is. <laughs> That's cool, isn't it? Plymouth Fury? I don't know, but I don't know. Yeah. It's a fury. I run through here just about every Sunday morning. Uh -huh. I would, would never think to think of something in the water. Yeah, there's another one too farther down. We were telling him. There's so many out here. It's ridiculous. <laughs> wow. You find an 07 Silverado. I had my truck stolen a couple years ago. So. Okay, <laughs> we'll keep an eye out. <laughs> it's like the other one, the whole back end's falling off. So that taxi was pretty crazy when we got that thing out. Yeah, I mean, who who would have thought it was, it was a nice orange car? He even even had the taxi thing on the top. It wasn't what I was expecting. And apparently, the family reached out to us, yeah. so we got to get a little backstory on this. That, that was really cool. So that's it's always fun to see. Yeah, the tow the tow guy he he immediately knew what it was. I guess a Plymouth Fury. And uh, it was just an old business near the University of Tennessee. That might be one of my, it's definitely one of my favorite cars we pulled out. That was pretty cool. But it was heavy as can be, but it, we've, I can't yeah. believe it. we actually got it out. This so. next one was one of our heaviest ever, this old Impala that we found. Crazy recovery. Check this out. Thank you, man. Oh, come on. <laughs> man, what are we doing out here? Not that. I feel better, though. Now, now I can't dive. My back. Oh, my back. Some giant just jumped on me. Oh gosh, it's raining a little bit, man. Dude, last time we was here, you actually had visibility. 
I think you'll have an inch. I'll have, I'll have none. This water is not moving at all, but I'm diving today, so I don't care. So it's kind of green. I mean, you ought, I'll be able to see something for a second, but the second you get to the car, it's gonna kick up all the mud. But my, my spidey senses will be tingling, so I'll know where to put the chains, you know? I just went directly over it, so I'm like, well, that's gonna be easy. Hey, how come we couldn't get a shot like that last time? Went right over, you can like totally, you can totally see it. I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna learn today. We have these amazing giant magnets that we use to hook on these cars, and uh, it allows us to dive down on them way easy. All right, so that car is literally at the very tip of the tree. Really? Yeah, it's so like oh, right when I go to the tree, it should be right on top of it. Here it comes! Is that, 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 that was the purge. <laughs> that was a purge. We might have to get this thing a tug with the truck, man. You know? God, that's, I am shocked. <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> Just go down there and poke it. Like, hey! Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> it's either suction and it'll shoot up once we tug it, or if it's weight and it'll be super light to pull. So, either way, once we start pulling, some of the dirt might come out the back. I mean, the bags are definitely helping it move, but. Yeah, move violently there. All right, hold up. Oh, we bought the bag. Well, I'm at, I'm at the end of the rope. I mean, it's moving just fi It's moving. Yeah, it's moving easy. You think we can reach the boat ramp now? Like yeah, I mean, if we, can get, if we can get the boom out far enough for it not to hit the trees. Is that 100 feet, you think? Should be. This baby root's going to hold the whole car. Oh, dang. That's about perfect distance, probably. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! Holy <laughs> shit! It must have ripped the rear bumper off. Man! Well, that didn't look good. One of the bags just shot out. I'm guessing it, the front end broke off, whatever he had hooked on. Well, the front end's still up, so I mean, we're still, we're still dragging out. I'm pretty sure there's a bumper attached to the back of that. The, the chain's ripped off the bag. Oh, I can see the car right there. I see it. Man, it looks, it looks like Swiss cheese. It looks orange. I think it's pink. Man, it's like a, it's like a big bed. Yeah, we could we could hook up the van, but we could also put the snatch block on there. Oh yeah, let's do that first. All right. Actually, good idea. Good idea, Nog. Give me the big one. All right. Give me some slack. Oh, is that the hood? No way. Is that the hood? Dang! Look at that. Hey, you were lying. Woo! Dude, that thing is ridiculously old. Oh my god. Holy smokes. Hey, this is what this was. I thought it was way smaller. Oh, Dude, it, oh it's got the back window curved. What? That explains why we broke that lift back. Wait, the window's curved? Yeah. Oh, that one's intact? 
I broke this one. I broke these two out. That's cool. So see where he's fishing. Let me guess, y'all found it right there about where the buoys were. Yep. Oh, uh, yep, actually. Yeah, we knew it was down there. Oh, yeah. They found it down there last time they had to pull a Ford F-150 out. In the same spot? Yeah, they knew oh. it was down there. That's an old cool. no body in it, is it? No. No, no, nope, nope. we just essentially just want to let you know what we found. If you knew about it, that's cool. Yeah. All right. Do you have uh, anybody on rotation, or you just want us to find a flatbed ourselves? Or? Well, we didn't ask for y'all to pull it out. I got you. Yeah, we, we just do this, uh, you know, volunteer, try to clean up the waterways and... I understand. We didn't have, we didn't find a plate. I don't it's know if you... It's probably stolen, which yeah. they dump everything in here and in the Tennessee River. Yeah. And I go ahead and tell you, I can't run it and find out anything about it because... That's what I was saying. The van is only going to be 13 characters, where now we use 17, uh, and it won't even pull up 13. Mm -hmm. so, oh, wow. would it be that old, they ain't going to do nothing with it. The only thing that they would do, if there was a body in it, yeah. they'd go from there. Other than that, scrap it. Huh. They haul it off to the nearest scrap yard. Yep, that's what and we. That's what we. Be done with it. That's fine too. Yeah, we just try to clean them up, you know. It looks like an old station wagon. It's a Impala. Impala like a wagon? I, uh, I, I guess. Seventy-three. I didn't know that Impala wagon. I didn't think it. It was. We thought it was like a Chevette or something at first, but. Did it have a four fifty four engine in it? Uh, I think I don't think it even had an engine. It looks like it might have been dumped without the engine. I can go ahead and tell you exactly what it is. They pulled the engine out and didn't want the car, so they Scrapped just pushed it, it off in the yes, creek. Yes, yeah. That's kind of what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. So the Impala, it, it, nothing worked out as we plan on that one because we got these awesome sub salve bags and and we put them to the test at the very beginning of this of this one of yeah. this car and uh they did the best they could but i mean this thing was filled with mud it ended up being a, a station wagon 90 ton even the tow I'm company surprised we got that thing out the tow company said that's the heaviest car they've ever messed with <laughs> so the fact that we even got it as far as we did was amazing yeah this next car was actually a volkswagen beetle the first beetle we've uh, actually came across yep. and uh it it was it was pretty darn cool because when it came out of the water, I mean, we actually didn't destroy it. No, so, we only needed one lift bag too, which was crazy. Yeah, it was a great day. You couldn't ask for a better day. So check this one out. We found a 50-year-old Volkswagen Beetle underwater, and today we're going to remove it with our tow truck. Try looking at a Volkswagen this way. It's the only small car with a sealed steel bottom built to take a little punishment. Oh my god, it's so cold. <laughs> I couldn't think straight. The VW is so well put together, it's practically airtight. There's a tiny bit of a current moving now. That's the same as it was. You know what? I'm gonna give you some of this. It looks like a, a, a hair more than it was. I don't think so. I don't think so. We better, I we don't better get moving quick. So. I want to get this. Volkswagen Beetle out the river. No, no, we this, got all day. This water looks so clear though. It is clear, it's so clear. I might never come up. Uh -huh. I'll become a, a merman. Oh, look at fishy. So you can tell, like, all this growth. This yeah. thing ain't moved in months. It's been, a, it's been a minute. It's been a pretty minute, but you know what? Not much growth. I think we should see what's under the water. I know, right? Let's get the boat in the water, see what happens. And you never know, there might be a new fresh car right here. It could be. And then we'll just pull that one out first. Yeah. We'll make life easier. Well, there's a lot of cars out here we're gonna get to one day. One day. So let's we'll get start, the boat in. We'll start with that beetle. Start and, with the beetle. And then we'll get the boat in. All right, down here at the spot, right below this bridge, actually there's a pillar right over there. Well, lucky days, it's still there. It's still there? It's still there, still upside down, looking pretty. 
Man, look Dude, at dare I say, I wonder if that's Oh, something. you know what? There was another thing that we were looking at. That's it, got a round spot. I don't know. If it's there's two beetles. I don't know if it's small. What if somebody dumped two Volkswagen bugs right here? That'd be awesome. There was something like right over there I remember searching that we were like, uh, I think that's a car. That might be a car. Dad, even a, well, that's a bug. That's a lot bigger than the wheels at least. But go over here because I think there was something right there. But we got the bug, so we're gonna get this one out. The conditions are good. Conditions. Just got a little, little, little sissy over here. Man, I, I, I will not be able to do it. I'll tell you, <laughs> I'll hit that water. You'll shrivel up. It's, it's been a long time since I had to suffer like that. It's not like you need to have more kids. <laughs> Still, I'd like to go home to them. <laughs> so right there's the buoy. You can almost see the car. I'm excited to see this come out. It was, was it red? I don't remember, I thought it was white. Time for a sexy, sexy sizzle. montage. Right here. <laughs> Alright, so you're getting your suit on. I think we get, is the magnet on like solid? It's, it's pretty good, yeah. Jeremy's in the water right there. This really should be a pretty quick recovery because it's a small car, it's upside down, so there's a lot to hook to. I mean, it's easy to just hook on the something down there on the tires and the axles. Oh my God, it's so cold. <laughs> I couldn't think straight. Oh. <laughs> if this doesn't work, man, I, I, mm, I don't know if I can do it. Maybe if I put that hoodie on. It's thermal. It's, I, it's bitter ice cold. <laughs> and I landed like, I went down so fast. I was I couldn't stop myself from, from going. Yeah. And I watched the rope and I looked down. And I was like, well, I could see everything. And so I hit the bottom. I could see the car sitting there. And I was like, man, and I mean, I'm just like instant. I'm like, <gasps> that might have been the fastest hookup that you've ever done. Oh, I, I could have done it faster if I was warm. <laughs> Man, look at that, we got her with one bag. Man, you're my hero, everybody tell you that? No. I wanna be just like you. So, we got us a bug. Now we just gotta go up two miles up the river. It's been another hour. Jeremy's asleep. Wake up! Uh, it's taking way longer than I thought. But uh, we, we're making progress. Now we're pushing it. We have the dive platform down and pushing right under the bag. And if you look right down there, you can just squint your eyes and see the boat ramp. So probably have another 30 minutes at least, so maybe an hour. And, uh, we'll be there in just a minute and then we'll pull this bad boy out of the water. Tell me what's going on. Well, I'm gonna lock all this stuff together and I'm just guessing all this together should reach the car. I'll be able to pull it in enough to put the pit there, put the wrecker all the way up there. Yeah. And then we could drag the rest of the way, flip it, then drag it up here, clean it out, see what we're looking at. I concur. I like your concurrence. So you're gonna like not you're gonna just try to stand on the car out there and hook I'm it on? Try. 
freeze to death again. Put a little mask on? Yeah. <laughs> Man, that's slick. I'm still going. You still going? All right, so I'm taking us back. Hey, Jeremy. See if it even reaches. Like this. So the low end is on that side. Make sense? So this might, might work. Let's see. Might work? Yeah. Well, it has to work. All right, so Jeremy's out there standing on it. Let's I'll take the hook off. You put it on the back. And take the hook off and loosen it. I'm gonna pull it this way. I'm gonna hook it on the rear tire and pull it this way. And then it'll fall on its wheels. And then we can drag it out. It's on its side right now, like facing this way. So it's literally on the side. So thing is covered in muscles. It's so small, it's so tiny. Look at that thing, man, it's old. One more time. What? Oh, did they hear it? Yeah, All right. So Jeremy's getting that magnet rope. This thing looks crazy. We're about to finish pulling it out here in just a second. First ever bug that we pulled out. So we're kind of on the lift bag right here. We're trying to save it. What's, yeah. the, what's the problem? It's on the bag. Probably save it with a, with a flat bit. What do you think? What do you think, bro? Yeah, we just wait here, right? We don't need to go up more, do we? No, we're good here. Okay. We need to figure that ah. shit out. Get that out of it. Well, let's take that one off first. Another car successfully out of the river. This is number 18, I believe, or 19. So that's awesome. So yeah, I love Volkswagen Beetles. Those things are great. They got a great look to them. Apparently, they're made to float the way they're built, which I didn't really know that. Oh, you know, here it makes sense. Yeah, it's just like a big bubble. So that was cool. I really want to find more Volkswagens to pull out. But the next car I thought was really cool was the Firebird that we found. Yeah, we were searching for a missing person and this car just came up on our sonar. And uh, come to find out, diving it, it was it was an old 
Trans Am, like a Firebird, had the eagle on it. Yeah. It was red and silver. Had a great look. We destroyed it because it was upside down. But uh, we managed to get it out. It was pretty cool. Well, there's definitely a little bit of a current it looks like today, man. A uh, little bit. I think it'll be all right. The visibility looks about it like last time, not horrible. We got a couple options. We have we have a spot up there, we might be able to just pull the car straight out. Yeah. Or we have to float the car and bring it down here. But I don't think it's that big a deal. We could just steer it and run it aground like somewhere here. Yeah. If it actually is like, oh man, we don't have time. But if we realize the current's barely moving when it floats, then we'll just bring it up here, throw a rope, pull it in and all that stuff. We were gonna, we were planning on floating it down because we didn't think we could access this, but it's literally we could pull straight in. So that's, I guess we're gonna regroup. It's right there, that's the car. So we just went over the car. I mean, it's, it's right a little bit over on the left. So you can see it on the screen, but yeah. That's, that's definitely a car, right? Yeah. Where's the truck at? Yeah, it's right there. Should the curb? I don't know, you tell me. Now it kind of doesn't look like a truck. Looks like an old, maybe if it's a four door, or whatever it is. It's got a high cab though, because it was cast in a truck like shadow. That should be, you should be bouncing on the car. Okay, that's it. It's not sticking really well. You're All directly right. on it. All right, that's better. All right. Back up, let me just tie it on over there, I think. Well, why not? God dang, dude. Why don't you just tie the buoy on it for now? Okay. Then we can hide out underneath this thing until this rain passes car marked it is pouring it is raining yeah another storm rolled in this is getting man i hate doing this sexy montage sexy montage go go oh no oh that just ruined everything oh guess who's diving <laughs> i feel like i need like a reverse uno card so Sexy montage to Jeremy now. Yeah, you can like, you can slap up a big old fail right on the screen right now, as you just destroyed your dry suit. Oh. So now it's, it's fixable. It, well, yeah, but not now. No, not now. I actually <laughs> wanted to dive this one. Got the boat out in the water. I'm gonna dive this thing real quick. See what it is. The conditions are pretty uh, favorable now. The, the rain is kind of off and on, which sucks, but, and we do have uh, this OTS comms which allows us to actually talk to Jeremy up there through the remote. So it really improves safety and allows us to communicate back and forth. So, uh, you know, OTS, shout out, they are great products. That's also the same face masks we use. So um, if you're a diver, I definitely recommend using OTS gear. Copy that. Uh, that was fun. All right. So, got ourselves a Firebird, huh? Yep. God. <laughs> and the rain's coming down. That's good luck, right? <laughs> That's what I hear. I don't know. I mean, I'm good. Yeah. Well, so I don't care. If this goes off, just... let me see the car. You gonna Man, illustrate it's what we're so gonna do? It's so close because the car we're pulling is actually red and white. Is it striped like that? It's the, it's dead. It's, it's on oh, the side. Sideways strike. Yeah, but it's upside. Well, it's convertible. I don't know. It's Why ask those questions? Is it? Oh yeah. God, you're confusing me. But it's like, it's like that. It's like that. Okay. And I got it hooked on that. So we're gonna hook. Okay. So it's facing that way too. Yeah. What are you gonna try to spin it? It's just gonna drag up. Okay. I'll just drag up to here, and then it'll get out there, and we'll we'll flip it. We'll and, flip uh, this schniz. There's nothing really. No. <gasps> Oh, sorry. <laughs> See what I have to deal with here? There's not many obstacles, as I was saying, in the way. It's just sand and dirt, so it should slide right up. Um, can't really get probably more damage than it already is, right? Right. I don't think that's true, but. 
Here we go. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, this should be uh, might be our quickest recovery yet. I'm gonna say that. I know that usually just like that jinxes us, but just like that, dude. It's right there. Nine man. more hours. Take your car. Take your toy. All right. Let's drag this line out and uh, see if it reaches. It's not. <laughs> How are we getting that out there? We're just gonna pull it all out and just yeah. Okay. I'll pull it out while you go while you you know back out on the boat. I can do that by myself. <laughs> go tearing shit up again. <laughs> yeah, pull the other one in. Pull it in. All right, that's fun. I mean, by the hair on my butt. That's how close that was. So uh, yeah, yeah. I think I was right. 100 foot, whatever. Whatever, bro. She's coming. Very little resistance. I want to give me a Firebird. Feels nice down here. Oh, we got bubbles. Is, it, is this one Swiss cheese? Yeah, when you lose the uh, the magnet. I don't think it's Swiss cheese. Good, because you're making me hungry. Dang. <laughs> uh, you want to move the snatch block? Or you want to hook both up? We can hook them both up. Or you want to flip it? We got to flip it now. Grab it. You got it. Yeah. Put it on the back tire, turn it, and then put it on the two far tires and pull them both at the same time. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna reposition. We was pulling it by this wheel, but now we wanna flip it. So we're gonna start by pulling on that wheel and getting it sideways. And then we'll hook two J hooks, probably Y bridle on the other side to flip it over. And then we're home free. Yeah. Oh no. All right. <laughs> Dang, that ain't gonna... <laughs> that ain't good. The, the whole frame's about to come off. No. Hook it around in the window seal. Man, I'm glad we pulled from the front wheels. All right, we got this old Firebird pull out the river, about to flip her. See what she looks like. I think it's gonna be a red, he said it's red and a white stripe. Here she comes, y'all ready? <laughs> oh man, it's like opening up a Christmas present. There she comes. <laughs> Oh! Boom! Dang! That thing's that thing's cool, man. Look at that thing. Man, we got us a Firebird. Oh yeah. I, th I think it's pink, Jeremy. Cool. <laughs> Man, it's so hot. I'm glad we have this uh, open window car, Jeremy. Man, we put, we, we, I, I, yeah. I feel so cool in this car. <laughs> you know, the only thing that could make me feel cooler if I had some Rectum Recovered merch. Oh, wait. I mean, oh. I do. <laughs> if you guys want to get yourself some Rectum Recovered merch, make sure you go to the website, rectumrecovered.com. Hook yourselves up, because when you hook yourselves up, you hook us up. And that funds these operations so we can pull these cars out of the river. Oh, yeah. You can see down there. I'll show you here in a minute, but we just see a cinder block down there on the gas pedal. That's so cool. Definitely stolen. There's a cinder block on the gas pedal. 
no shit. <laughs> raining a little bit out here. I decided to take a swim. Look at all these guys up here. Hiding out. Not me. Is there a glove compartment? Not to know. Maybe there's not, I don't know. There was there was the center console, but the door's missing and it was upside down, so. Pretty cool, huh? Let's film that in the river. Yeah, right off this road. Yeah, we pulled those other ones out too. I don't know if you heard about that. Uh -oh. That'll be like a few weeks ago. We pulled, yeah, we like pulled three, three out vehicles so far. This is the fourth. Okay. And there's a pickup out there we want to get next. But this rain kind of messed it all up. What do, what do we usually do with this? Right? Uh, Usually, you guys, yeah. like the last ones they pulled out, they, we had tags and numbers and stuff. We found out one was stolen, the other one was just abandoned. We couldn't this find. This one got no numbers on it. The vins are all rotted off. And there's a cinder block somebody's yeah. on the yeah, yeah. So we're thinking deliberate. <laughs> but what they've been doing in the past is just call whoever's on rotation and have them haul it off. Okay. I think it was roadside last yeah. time. Yeah, I think roadside, doesn't it? Right back. Okay. That's all y'all found. Well, yeah, like I said, there's yeah. another full size pickup out there, but we haven't pulled it yet. There's no tag on that yeah. one either. So. No, there's no tag, but it'd be easy to get a vent off that. It's not in bad shape. Is there any. So you said there's no numbers on it or anything? You need kind of, something to be able to give to Um. I mean, there's a. I can, there's the white paper on the door, but I didn't see. I didn't see the VIN number. I think that's on, on the inside. It's supposed to be, right? Actually, it looks like they cut it out right here. Man, that Firebird was pretty awesome. It poured down rain that day, so that was pretty crazy. But it made for a great look to the episode. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was pretty fun. But Luckily, it wasn't freezing. It was just a monsoon. We yeah. almost lost the boat, actually. Oh yeah, that was where Mitch had to go jump in the <laughs> Mitch river went to save the boat. Swimming in the river, that was, that was glad he was there. We was lost the boat. Well, we wouldn't even know. We were going back and be like, "Where'd the boat go?" Yeah, the boat would have been gone. Uh, but this next one was actually a truck, an old F100. I don't know if we should have. I mean, we should have pulled it out. We did pull it out, but there wasn't much left of this truck. No, it was been there. The roof was gone. Well, you know, the was body was still intact. We we came out pretty easy. It didn't look too bad once we got it out, but it was very rusty. So but, yeah, uh, that build built Ford tough because it held on. Ford tough. <laughs> Get right into it. But we have ourselves a pickup. Did you find something online about there being a... Uh... A, a couple hours away, there's like a stolen pickup that kind of looks like it might be the shape of this one. So that's what we're gonna, that's what we're just gonna make believe this is the this is the truck. Sure, yeah. Dude, we're gonna have to drive through the grass. We're not on a boat ramp today. Oh, well, we'll get the, yeah. I mean, I can move, I'll move the van out of the way and then we'll just drive over here. It's kind of straight. Once we've I don't it. think it's rained. Well, it's a little muddy right here. That should be fun. Ah, we'll be it. We'll just, we'll just drive <laughs> around that. I ain't scared. But so I guess that peninsula, it's right in this little cove. Yeah. And it seems like a lot of people are catching fish around this truck. So, uh, yeah, I'm really? sorry, fishermen. Yeah, that's, what do you think? <laughs> we boat in there. the water? Yeah, let's put the boat in. Mark this baby. And, uh, <laughs> get going. I like it. Whoa. All right, we got the boat in the water. We'll go over here and mark this thing. What's you doing over there? Getting all organized? I was trying to. How's it every time we get something, we end up filling it up with a bunch of crap? Can't just have a nice organized. We're, we're, you know, we're basically hoarders. I guess. Of, of scuba equipment. Actually, I think all scuba divers are hoarders. I think it's just <laughs> all kinds of equipment. Now we got water hose stuff. And we got, oh my gosh, whatever. Whatever. Literally over here. I mean, it's seven feet. We're looking three feet. We'll be able to stand on it. Oh, it's three feet down to the to the roof of the truck. <laughs> so, so I need to use a little bit less rope. Yeah, the on highest this. point is three feet. Dude, we'll be able to swim here and stand on the roof. So it's on its wheels. Definitely. 
Only question is, is it like semi new enough to pull out? Or out. is it an old, old frame? Just for giggles, I'll put the uh, buoy on. Oh, well, I mean, that's <laughs> probably a smart idea. Facing. I don't know how we. Alright. Here's the truck. Well, since you're so tall, you want to dive it? <laughs> you can just walk out of here to it. You don't even need to put your gear on, man. Let's go pull ourselves out of truck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, what is the plan here? All right, man, here's what I got. I'm thinking we got 100 feet of cable. Should reach pretty close to the water, if not to the water. Right? You with me? You with me? Now we got 100 foot of the rope, the orange rope. Yep. That's where you're gonna take with you down to the truck. And some form or fashion of rigging it. I don't know yet. Maybe J hook? I don't know. I mean, it went straight in. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it might be able to tie a knot. I don't even know. <clears throat> now everybody's gonna be like, dang, all Adam does is film. Like, I prefer the manual labor as long as you make the movie, man. <laughs> well, now you're on the last ring, but... Uh, yeah, maybe stop there. Good enough. Just went straight in. So, we're gonna go down and... Um, I'm gonna try not to have to hook it on the wheels, because then it'll pull out a little sideways. Hopefully there's just like a, a, a hitch. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hopefully there's a hitch or something like, like there and it's not too old of a truck where we can trust the bumper. The sonar is showing the wheels are pretty darn exposed. So you might be able to get around an axle too. if, you, if I mean, case. we can, but uh, I'll yell at you because it's only three feet. Hey, you just pop your head up and go, dude, <laughs> you're not going to believe this. Because I don't say dude enough. Man, dude. <laughs> we already got the hundred foot cable laid out and made it all the way to the water. Now we got this hundred foot nylon rope that has proven itself worthy, because it ain't broke yet. Oh no! Do it, do it! Pick your head up, open your mouth! The dude's not going! Do it! Do it, do it, do it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he did it! Oh, oh my gosh! I love it every day that I get to see that. <laughs> It's like a uh, 2000s, maybe 90s. I think it's a Chevy 1500. Yep. Is it full size? I don't know. I could be wrong. It might be a Datsun. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty much, I guess, taking the uh, the GoPro down there is pretty much so you can scream at the camera. Because <laughs> I appreciate you able to see anything. It's for the... Uh... It's for the effect. For the effect, yeah. Look how challenging this is. But up top and be like, I can see your head. <laughs> Most of the time, the GoPro is going to be out of the water. <laughs> yeah, probably. Like, oh, look, I can see his GoPro. It's like a periscope. Wow. <laughs> I couldn't imagine this is going to take very long. I guess he's probably going to be clearing the vehicle right now. See if any of the windows are down, all that stuff. Looking for a tag. I think he's just gonna rig it while he's out there. He's got a J hook, so he's just gonna hook it up on something and we'll pull it out and see what happens. It's old. It's really old. Where'd you get it on an axle? It, yeah, it's somewhere on the rear left tire. That should come out. So is it facing? Yeah, the rear is facing. It, it went straight in. Probably been in there for 20 years. Yeah, let's pull it out. See what happens. Better than oh. 20 years. Ain't the oldest one we've done. Moment of truth. I ain't scared. You, you seem scared. Are we gonna get an axle or an old truck? Did it look stuck like it's buried in the mud? I don't really. No, I mean, not really. Pretty flat slant. And it's moving already. Oh, it is? Oh yeah, there ain't like, there ain't nothing stopping it. All right, well, I'm gonna get down there. There's an old truck in the water out here. Commerce, Georgia. That thing is, uh, that thing's seen better days. Woo! This is the best part. <laughs> Watching it come out like this. 
I thought it was a full-size truck, but now I'm thinking it's something else. I think that roof was missing on purpose. It might be an old Bronco. Dude, is that an old Bronco? I couldn't, you could tell why I couldn't tell what it was. I thought it was a Bronco at first, but I think it's just You got me excited. <laughs> I think it's just a Ranger. But yeah, like the, the roof almost looks like it, it was meant to be cut off. But yeah, oh gosh, now I see what you're talking about. It is rusty. Yeah, yeah, it's gone, man. All right, well, you're gonna have to get back in there a little bit and find that chain to hook oh, this onto. Am I? Yeah, yeah, bro. <sighs> Why is it so tight? <laughs> tight like a tiger. might still not be enough. <laughs> that thing is pretty old. Dude, this, I, <laughs> I'm kind of impressed. <laughs> Look at that. Man. Yeah, I can't believe it held up, man. The wheels are still turning. Yeah, they're, what? God, there's no engine in it? There's, a, there's an engine. Is there? Golly, that thing's been in there forever. I hear flopping noises inside. There's some fish. Dude, look at the hubcaps on this thing. This is an old truck. Oh, there's a, Yeah, there's an engine. It's pretty open. Dude, what? I mean, this is a lot older than I thought. I mean, it's a pretty small engine for like a big room, right? There's a lot of extra room, yeah. Y'all just decide to come out here and look? Yeah, we, we, we were searching for another missing person um, in Athens, and we just checking all the waterways, and we found this vehicle, and we also do cleanups, you know, try to get stuff out of the water when we can. Yeah, that's like a bit of a while. I know. <laughs> yeah, it was full of fish. We had to clean up all the fish and put them back. Was there really? Yeah. yeah. Catfish right there. There's still some. You should have seen how many were there before we cleaned it. Yeah, there's a casualty here, too, but yeah, I've probably at least 20 fish we took out of there. The 20 catfish. catfish. still alive. Yeah, catfish is still kicking there. You want to grab him and throw him back. The hell, they may want it. I bet he'll take it. Well, he's watching me. He's like, man, there are a lot of fish in there. Yeah, he didn't seem too interested. No, nah, he don't want no mud cat. It might taste a little uh, metallic y. <laughs> Is it? What are you on, Jeremy? Mine. Okay. Mind if I see your license one more time? He oh, said it returned weird. Oh, shit, I got a warrant on me. It showed you as a female for some reason in the system. Uh oh, uh -huh. uh -huh. you got something to say? <laughs> well, how long have you been? How long have you been? Cat's out of the bag now. How long have you been? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that was the F100, very cool truck. And uh, those are some of our favorite recoveries done this year. We just wanted to make this wrap up video for y'all, just thanking you. We have lots of plans for the future, but as you know, it's very tough doing what we're doing. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, essentially what we're, we're like, man, uh, let's put it this way. The, I've talked to other recovery teams, like, but they're, a, they're they work for the city, right? The government and stuff, you know? Yeah. Somebody told me it costs upwards of 10 grand in taxpayer money just to get a car out of the water. And I'm like, it. I believe it. Then don't get me wrong. I'd like to get 10 grand myself, but we're not charging for this. We're doing it yeah. completely free because we just want to clean up the environment. But uh, your donations definitely do help. We have a nonprofit going. You can always go to rapidcc.org, donate there, and that that literally puts gas in the trucks and that keeps us on the road and keeps us fed. So yeah. that's the best way you guys can help. And uh, yeah, we just want to say thank you for all the support. We're trying to grow the channel. As of the making of this video, I think we're almost at 40,000 subscribers, which is pretty amazing. It's growing uh, good. And we just want to keep it growing. And you guys see how much we're struggling. Anything that's donated, we put to use. We work hard, we work our butts off. And uh, I, I, you know, we try to make the best content we can for y'all. So we just want to say thank you. Uh, happy New Year, maybe. Yeah, happy holidays. Happy holidays. Whatever, whatever your preference is, I hope you have a good one. Yep, and we got lots of plans for the future, so stay tuned. Thanks for all the support. Thanks for watching. See you guys next year. Yeah. <laughs>